Okay, next speaker also is the last speaker in this afternoon. Is Professor Reijing Zhang from City University of Hong Kong. Let's welcome. I appreciate this opportunity very much because uh, uh, this is a chance for me to promote this idea which I had uh, already for actually 20 years, another 20 years. <laughs> okay, so I found that uh, not many people use this idea. I will show you that actually this is very efficient. Uh, so this is still actually something uh, people haven't uh, talked about much uh, for uh, decades, right? But uh, still something I think that we will find something we need to be clear. Uh, so, uh, uh, in the following, I will first uh, uh, tell you why uh, I propose this economic business set, uh, and then I'll tell you the so for the business set is, uh, scheme. I will show you some examples. Okay, the first is uh, molecule, uh, which is not very large compared with the uh, uh, biological molecule, and also this can be used also for exact calculation. And lastly, I will show you that this can be used for pretty complicated molecules. Uh, so uh, so uh, the reason that we use a basis set is simply because uh, we cannot solve the equation exactly. We have to expand the basis function into some basis set. Okay. So then uh, people develop a, a different kind of basis set. So this is what we learn from textbook. Uh, so then, uh, for example, in Gauss, we have a meaning basis set, expanded basis set, etc. All actually have been well uh, uh, prepared. Uh, student actually simply can choose the one they like, right? okay, so then they, you have plenty of choices. Uh, okay, uh, so I think, okay, oh, I, I don't need to use this, right? Okay, okay so then uh, the question here is, uh, uh, do we need to uh, uh, consider, uh, the problem is we make a choice of this set. Actually, uh, here I'll show you one example. If you calculate the, uh, 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 electron affinity, right? So then you will find that the choice of, uh, the use of uh, uh, diffusive function actually is not good, okay? Uh, so then with the, if you calculate the uh, 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 electron affinity, okay, use this idea, okay, so this is the minus of the uh, homo with the molecule the negative charge, right? So then you will see that this is very different from experimental data, okay? However, if you remove this uh, diffuse function, right, you see it's very good agreement, okay? So this is uh, probably something some students cannot recognize, okay? Uh, so then, uh, so that's basically means uh, you should not use this without uh, thinking about the correctness uh, the, 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 the or not, right? So then, uh, another question which I would talk about uh, basically mainly in this uh, presentation is uh, can we use this function way efficiently? So I had this question actually 20 years ago, simply because I was uh, uh, in this laboratory uh, to interpret uh, one experiment, okay? Uh, so this is a mass spectrometry uh, uh, laboratory. So people found that uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, there is a, di uh, uh, a changeover from monomers to dimers, okay? And the uh, class size, okay, class size n, uh, uh, reach to, for example, uh, five or six, okay? So in you know, two different uh, kind of uh, uh, experiments, okay? So both actually uh, uh, show uh, this uh, changeover, okay? And uh, n equal to five or six, so there is a changeover from monomers to dimers, okay? So this was uh, uh, very interesting, okay? People did not understand why. So I was uh, uh, asked by Professor Howard Lipschitz to interpret this, okay? So in that time, that's uh, 20 years ago. <laughs> so the computation power is very low. So then uh, uh, I was thinking, uh, how, can we solve, how, how can I solve the problem? So yeah, I'm not very used to that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so uh, uh, I was uh, uh, thinking about what kind of molecule structure we, we can have in this kind of experiment. So first kind of is, uh, structure can be chain, chain-like uh, molecule, right? So, Basically, the, for example, the formic acid that uh, actually form uh, chain. Another kind of strata can be chain uh, with a 
a dimer, a, a, a closed dimer in, in the one end. And there is also possibility to have the uh, uh, formic acid uh, uh, cluster with the two uh, closed dimer at the both end. So this is all possible. So then uh, for A bridge to file 6, so that the class size is already pretty big for the, for the computational power at that time. So then uh, I, uh, was, uh, I, I was very, <laughs> I found it very difficult to solve the problem because I need to have it on uh, this side, okay? So then the, I, I understand that this, all these three kind of structure actually are competing actually in the gas phase. So, uh, so I have used the initial calculation because there, there is a hydrogen bond involved, right? So I asked myself, can, I, can we use a small basis set so that I can reduce the computation cost? So I proposed to use this uh, basis, basis set. So I apply the 631G star on uh, uh, Austria item lead and the, uh, uh, for the others I use this, uh, the basis function without the uh, polarization, okay? So I can even use a smaller one, okay? So uh, actually I did a uh, demonstration, okay? I analyzed the basis behind. So then, uh, so the basic function people design actually, for example, 631G uh, star, right? Basically, this can be, at that time, people all use the same level of basic function for, for every item in the molecule, right? However, if you, you think about the details, right? You, have, you, may, you may recognize that uh, they very often, they, there is a very often charge transfer between atoms with different electron activity, okay? For example, if this one has a higher electron activity, there should be electron transfer here. So then, if this is the level of basic function, right? So then this one, it seems, doesn't need that large basis set, right? But for this one, uh, probably this one, you can usually add more basic function. So then, uh, so with that, actually, I propose to reduce the use of business function for, for this atom, but uh, keep using the large one for this one, okay? So then this actually was found to uh, work, okay? Uh, so I use this molecule to demonstrate the efficiency of that scheme, okay? So this is the further bond, the formic acid okay, with hybrid bond in here, okay? I did not use the other because the other ad, uh, molecule actually are pretty rigid. Rigid, okay. So the the change, the dependence of, of the geometry uh, on basic function actually are not very uh, uh, sensitive. Okay, so so I use that. So this is the uh, uh, molecule I draw. Okay, so this is the uh, coordinate that can be in Cartesian coordinates. So the idea here is that can be easily uh, 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 implemented using Gaussian, for example. Okay, so we put a G in here. So you just type in the number of uh, Atom, you would like to use a, a 631G star, for example, 2, 4, 5, 6, so this is 2, 4, uh, 5. I put this one also with the, uh, oh, I shall put the 2 star here, okay, sorry, uh, uh, with the polarization function because this is an important one, okay, this is the, the one in the hydrogen bond, so also the other uh, oxygen atoms. I uh, apply 631G uh, to all the other atoms, okay, so this is kind of very easy, okay. Uh, so let me show you the results. Okay, so this table. Uh, I, I, the, the results show you here is not exactly what I said, okay? And, and actually, at that time, I did not put a polarization function here. So look at this uh, column. So this is the uh, 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 deviation of the geometric parameter from the uh, geometric parameter obtained using 31G star, okay? Uh, so you can see that the deviation for for this, of course, very small, but let's look at someone which is a pretty sensitive, okay? So which one is sensitive? So this one, okay? Oh, this is an angle. So this is a bound name, uh, uh, oxygen 4, hydrogen 5. Oxygen 4, hydrogen 5. So this is a uh, hydrogen bound, okay? So this is, a, this is uh, with the 631 G, so this division is that much, right? But with this uh, so-called economic business set, so this is, uh, the division is much reduced, okay? Let's look at the angle. So this angle is this uh, 0.3 angle deviation, right? For, with the use of 631G from that uh, uh, using 631G star, right? So this is a pretty large deviation. With this idea, okay, with, with this, this is a function, this is set, so the deviation is reduced to that small, okay? So this appeared uh, to be very efficient, okay? So uh, we don't need to compare with others because the uh, division always uh, uh, 
and a similar level, okay? Similar level. So this idea, I think, it works. Uh, okay, so then, uh, so this was uh, using a very small uh, uh, computer at that time. So the, uh, let's look into the frequencies. So we captured the vibration of frequency. Okay, so this is experimental data for the uh, formic acid monomer. Okay, so then uh, with this, uh, three, uh, these three leaves, uh, with this economic basis function, right, a basis set. So you see very good agreement. Okay, very, this is the, the first one, the uh, uh, high frequency one uh, is, uh, is poor, but this one, uh, others are pretty good. Okay. Uh, so this is proof that the, uh, the, the potential form, potential uh, uh, surface is uh, of good quality. Okay. Uh, so now, now let's look into the uh, circuit time comparison. Okay. So this, uh, uh, so these three call uh, th these three rows show you the circuit time. Uh, uh, this is a basic function, narrow basic function. Use three different kind of uh, uh, so called economic basis set scheme. Okay. Basically, by apply 631G on possibility, and the others with the 631G, for example, this one, for others, I can change the scheme, okay, uh, as I wish. Compared with others, right, so the natural business function are reduced, okay, and also the time, okay, so apparently there is good reduction. Of course, don't compare with this one, this one is uh, not very good, right, for this molecule. Uh, so then, this is, there is a, 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 a reduction of CPU time. Uh, so this, this is for this small molecule. Which one I will tell you that the larger the molecule, the better the, the efficiency. Okay. Uh, so now with that uh, that scheme, I cannot work on this problem. Okay. So this is a uh, change overall from monomer loss to time loss uh, 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 assigned to me by uh, Professor Avrilipshis. So then I did a calculation for all these molecules. I first need to optimize those uh, molecules, right? And then uh, uh, calculate the uh, energies, right? So this is the vibration energy as a function of uh, class size, okay? So we ha I have three uh, curves. One shows the monomer loss, that is this one, uh, and then also time loss, another uh, time loss, okay? With the time loss at the one end, uh, with the time loss at the both end. Okay, of the molecule. So you can see that uh, in the smaller size, uh, the one with the monomer loss are pretty uh, actually favorable, right? Uh, 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 but uh, with the increase of the size, so they compete. Right? Uh, standardly, and uh, this size, so the other time loss one can uh, get the advantage, <coughs> right? So I cannot compute further, right? If I compute further, I understand it. And the one with the diamond loss may be more favorable, okay? So I cannot uh, complete this uh, story uh, uh, entirely. Okay, so now let's uh, uh, see the uh, application of this idea to other molecules. So this is a molecule which is a very uh, important for light emission, uh, light emission devices. So this is blue light emission molecule, EPALQ3. So this uh, a molecule has uh, some vision rings. There is an aluminum atom in the middle. Okay, so then the uh, uh, this is uh, to me that's uh, for me this was a pretty bigger molecule. Okay, uh, I did the optimization. Of course, this comparison is not very very uh, fair because I <coughs> use the diffusion function here. I shall not use it. But you see that I get an almost a similar geometry. Okay, of this uh, uh, molecule. So this is the uh, deviation percentage. Okay. Uh, very small, 0.07%, 0.07%, right? Uh, so all very small, okay, compared with this, the geometry obtained using this standard basis function. Okay, so however, the secret time saved is 90%, uh, okay? So this is very encouraging. Uh, let's look, let me show you some other examples, uh, small organic okay, molecule in excited state. So in excited state calculation, we still can use this idea. The, so this is the example I show you here. Uh, so this trans PCA, right? Uh, so then uh, let's look into this uh, uh, geometry first. So the, the data in the parameters are the uh, deviation, okay, uh, of the geometry parameter. Can we use this so-called uh, economic business set uh, from the uh, the ones uh, that using this is the remind G star, okay? You see that they're the all very small. So this is uh, S zero. And then the S1 also very small. So the uh, so here I show you the uh, uh, room is square uh, uh, deviation. So also very small, right? Very uh, satisfactory. Uh, 
So the molecular orbital distribution actually was found also comparable, uh, compared very well with the one obtained with the class uh, with the standard basis set. Okay, and uh, uh, let me show you the energy. Okay, so uh, this is total energy. Okay, of these two different states. Uh, uh, calculated with this uh, so-called economic business set. Okay, so this is the one uh, using this uh, 61 g star. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, uh, we calculate the relative energy of the, 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 this energy minus this one. Okay, uh, so we set this to be zero. So you can see that the uh, the trend seems not the the the, 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 the trend is okay, but the, the, the comparison is not not very good. So this is simply because. The economic basis set actually can only guarantee the credits of the geometry. Okay, if we want to have good uh, and judges, you need to do uh, uh, high, better uh, uh, level of uh, uh, single point calculation. Okay, on uh, this uh, 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 geometry optimized using uh, number basis set. Okay, so you can see that with this. Uh, so the, the result is uh, compared very well with the one obtained using the system of the real one G, right? So 0, 82.8, 82, right? All very, very similar, okay? So this is the result using uh, standard business set, a single point uh, on the geometry optimizer using this 3, 6, one G star, okay? So I think that this idea can be used to, uh, for the statistical calculation. Uh, so here show you the the basis, uh, number of basis set, uh, basis function, and the CPU times. Okay. So with this is 631 G star, uh, you can see that these are the numbers. Okay. So you can see that there is a <coughs> major reduction. Okay. Uh, so uh, of course, the, uh, understandably, this is for not too big molecule, right? If your molecule is large, and uh, the with a lot better uh, efficiency. So uh, this is the last uh, part of the application. I will show you the, uh, uh, the application in the nuclear uh, basic pair and other from this molecule calculations. Okay, so they here show you some uh, nuclear basic pair. Okay, so there are some carbon bond bond uh, between. Okay, uh, so then uh, the basis uh, function, uh, uh, economic basis that I use we use actually uh, uh, is combined with the 631 G star for uh, nitrogen and uh, oxygen edges. Okay. <coughs> Uh, so in the uh, 631G for others, okay, I think the same, okay. Uh, however, uh, if I do this work uh, uh, now, I would like to uh, put a polarization also on the coverage engines, okay, because these they are more important than the other coverage engines. Uh, okay, so then let's see the result first. Okay, so the uh, geometric, geometric uh, parameters, right? So these are the uh, hydrogen bond distance, uh, hydrogen bond length uh, from six, uh, calculation using 631 G star. Uh, you see that without the polarization function, there is an obvious deviation, right? So with this uh, so-called economic data set, you see the, the similarity, right? Very close, very close data. Uh, also for, for, for this uh, comparison, there is, there is no much difference for, for the other data. But this uh, sensitive business uh, are really bonds, okay? Uh, with the use of economic reset, we get a very good, very good data compared with the one with the uh, standard data set, okay? Uh, so this is for uh, nuclear basic pair. Uh, we can, yeah, we can also capture the molecular orbital, so uh, we get a very similar uh, shape, right? So indicating that the wave function not change, not change. Uh, also, the look, uh, let's see the uh, CPU time comparison. Uh, so, economic base set, okay? Uh, so, number of business functions, uh, so re uh, uh, reduced, right? The time also reduced, okay? Virtually. So, this is uh, of course reduced, but uh, this is not a coverage, right? So, this is not a very uh, reliable one. Uh, so, then, uh, uh, we also kept, uh, got, uh, got some DFT, so called DFT's uh, concept parameters, mu, uh, and uh, s, uh, omega, etc. Uh, so, uh, so then with this standard uh, basis set, okay, we get, uh, for example, homo, lumo, uh, those numbers here, right? Uh, we put it here for comparison. 
And if we use the 6 0 one g so you see uh, apparent differences, right? If we use the economic business end, uh, we also see some differences, okay? However, if we use uh, uh, the uh, geometry optimizer using this uh, economic business uh, uh, side, and then single point calculation using standard uh, uh, theory level, okay? We see very good <coughs> comparison, very good uh, 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 agreement, right? Very good agreement. So they then, uh, so you can see that uh, the, the, this, the scheme is very reliable, okay? Uh, okay, so I think uh, uh, we also can have good charge, okay? However, I'd like to uh, share with you that when you can reach a charge, right, you better reduce to uh, a small business set, okay? So the idea here is to use a good business set for the geometry optimization, and then reduce to small business set, for example, 631G, to get the charge, right? Okay, I, I will not show you the talk about it. all of this detail. I can tell you that the comparison is very, very well. Okay, so this is the one with the standard business set. This is the one with the economic business set. Okay, so you can see the good uh, uh, agreement. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is really good chart. So again, the same. So the results are very good. Uh, okay, so here show you the calculation for uh, uh, larger. Uh, 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 molecules, right? Uh, so then, uh, let's look at into the uh, geometry. Uh, yeah, so geometry uh, parameters. So you can see this is the one from six uh, to one G star. Okay. Uh, so for different parameters, the di the difference is very small. Okay, the difference is very small. So the CPU time for this uh, larger one, right, is actually is much reduced. We can see this 40% uh, of CPU time. Okay? Uh, so we are actually recently have optimized those three molecules. So this is uh, uh, on the request of uh, my collaborator in Thailand. We, we, we are studying this molecule. Uh, so uh, uh, you can see that we, uh, we can save a lot of CPU time for this uh, kind of molecule. Okay? Uh, so, uh, however, for in this uh, the three molecules, right? Uh, the percentage between uh, electronegative atom and uh, 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 not electronegative atoms, right? Are not very different, okay? No, not very big, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, if you, 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 you go back to the uh, uh, previous uh, bi molecule, right? The carbon uh, atom there, are much, uh, the percentage is much larger, so then uh, so this is why the uh, uh, efficiency is not that good, okay? Uh, I, I, suspect, I, I expect that we can have better application of this idea in my molecules, such as the big one I'll show you here, right? So I can tell you that the larger the molecule, the more economic the, 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 the scheme, okay? Uh, okay, so uh, basically I finished uh, the, the time, right? <laughs> uh, I just uh, introduced uh, the idea of uh, uh, economic business set. Uh, uh, for most of people, right, you don't need it because you have very good computer. For some people who don't have a good computer, right, you may like this idea, right? So I show you that, I already showed you that this has found a very uh, good application in uh, some molecules, including light emitting molecule, organic molecule, in some state, okay? And also maybe biological molecules, okay? So thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor. We have more time for questions in the comments. So, so far, all the economic basis set, for the first two, six, two, one, G star, basically, all the economic basis. For people, I think that they, uh, of course, the idea is still the same. But uh, uh, the larger the basis set, they did uh, smaller, probably. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think that the, what we can uh, see here is that uh, uh, the economy is a continuous food uh, uh, geometric uh, structure, right? Uh, for better uh, accuracy, better move up to better uh, high level this is there. Yeah. Uh, yes, but you need to reduce. Uh, 
the this is a function for some some edges, right? Much the time, better time to match your case. Right. Oh, it's uh, actually you can uh, make a uh, uh, raw calculation using a very low basic function, right? And then you look at the charge. So you look at the charge, right? You can identify which one is the electromagnetic for those who are not from the chemistry background, right? For chemistry, right, they can easily identify which one. Uh, so use the uh, uh, higher uh, basic function. The electron negative atoms, right? And also the, the atom of importance, uh, high importance. Uh, polarization function, in my demonstration, I basically uh, uh, compare the one with and without polarization functions. But you can also compare others. Right. Uh, because the, the charge, right, actually is from partition of the, uh, the uh, orbital, right? Uh, if you use a large basis set, plus the this function, right, the partition may not be may not be fair. So you may give someone who does not deserve to have that much of charge. So you're saying basically the same. A same but a uh, better uh, minimal basis uh, but uh, you need to get uh, to the geometry structure for us. Okay. Any question? If no more question, uh, thanks to two speakers in this session. <laughs>